Okay, today we're going to be answering a question from a viewer. His name is uh, The Secret Marketer. And he said he watched some of my videos that I've done using EaterCap and other tools to uh, download videos from websites, whether it be streaming or, or just videos, uh, kind of like a YouTube type thing maybe. Uh, and he said he couldn't get it to work with uh, Mega Video. Uh, I've never used Mega Video myself. I'm going to look into it more right now. Uh, uh, other than just in the past few minutes, I came here and... Uh, Figured out using uh, Firebug, which I've gone over in the past, which is a plugin for Firefox. Go to Firefox.com, click on Add-ons, and search Firebug. It is a very useful tool for many things. Um, once you have it downloaded, installed, and you restart Firefox, you'll get this little icon down here in the bottom right corner. I just installed Firefox 4 on my machine, by the way, just this morning, and I'm loving it so far. And so far, the only add-on I've installed is the Firebug. And if we click here... Um, and we go to net, by default it's going to say uh, it's disabled, you're going to click enable. And right here this will list everything, uh, should list uh, pretty much everything that loads on the page. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick a video here. So I'll just pick one of these videos at random. So here's one, it brings us to where the video is going to play. Now at this play point we have not started loading the video yet. Uh, just loading, it's loading a little preview shot and then some ads. And that's what's all showing up down here is images and links and, and other files that for this stuff loaded. But since we have not clicked played, it hasn't started downloading the video yet. So just to make things easier to read, I'm going to click clear. So it clears out this list. Now I'm going to click play. And right away you see this list, this link right here. This link is our video. You can see already that it's downloaded almost two megabytes. So you know this is our video because there's nothing else on this page. It should be that large and it's still downloading. Uh, we're over three megabytes now. So all we have to do is right click and click copy lo location. Bring a terminal screen over here. And at this point, uh, what we can do is we can just type in M player and then you can either right click and click paste or you can hit uh, control shift V to paste after copying it from the web browser. And if we hit enter with M player, M player will start streaming that video for you. So right there, we can close that out. So that's streaming the video, but if we want to download the video, and actually let me remove something real quick here because I've already tested this out once. And what I removed was a file called index.html because if, well, I'm just going to hit up here. So there's our M player one-liner, which is say wget instead, and make sure you have this end uh, forward slash on the link, which should when you paste it in. We'll hit enter there and it starts downloading it. Now right here you can see that this is a 38 megabyte file. It's a video and the type of video is an FLV, which is a flash video file. Um, but you'll see it's saving it to index.html. And um, that's why I had to delete the index.html so that I wouldn't confuse you. So even though it's an FLV file, uh, the link is recognizing as index.html and that's the default HTML file and that's what this forward slash at the end, if you remove that forward slash, uh, it's not going to work. Uh, so I just want to make that clear. So now that that's downloading, let me open up another terminal here, make it a little larger, and I'll pre type mplayer index.html, and we'll hit enter, and you'll see it will start playing that video. And it's playing that video um, that we are downloading right now. So even though we're only 31% downloaded, we can start watching it, and it will stop when it gets to that 31% or wherever we have downloaded um, at that point until it's fully downloaded. But you can start watching it before it's done being downloaded, even though it's called index.html. But I recommend, obviously, renaming the file to, I guess, whatever the title of the video is, dot FLV, because it actually is an FLV file. So end player, most video players don't care that it's labeled .html because it's not really an HTML file. But just for your reference, since so you don't run into any headaches later on, I would rename it .html. And you can actually redirect wget to put the output into a file, whatever name you want. Um, so I'm just going to hit Control-C to cancel that out. Now also... Uh, we'll go through that whole process again right now. So we'll go back to the home page of Mega Video. And I'm just going to click another video at random. I'll click this one here. And once again, you'll see a bunch of links and stuff downloading here. Uh, and that's just, you know, the Mega Video logo, this screenshot, this button, the advertisement that should be popping up. We don't care about any of that. We'll hit clear. We'll click play. And here is a link to our video. We're going to right-click that, copy location, and then we can just, once again, wget 
uh, control shift V or right click and paste hit enter and it'll start downloading the file now you know since I already had started downloading another video and it was called index.html it created a new file called index.html.1 and if I was to download another file without renaming either of those files we'd get index.html.2 uh, so that works another thing is if you're not a command line person what you could just do is after copying this link from here just paste it into your web browser and it'll ask uh, if you want to open it with your movie player or save it. So that's another option if you don't want to use the command line there. So I hope uh, the secret marketer finds this useful. I hope other viewers have found this useful. And I hope that you visit filmsbychris.com and the link's in the description. And I also hope that you have a great day.